the children i am krishna ma'am and today we are going to take part 2 of the vedic period in part 1 we have discussed what vedic period is how the aryan kings where they settled and we have studied about the literary and archaeological sources and from these sources we learn lot about the social and cultural life of the early and later vedic period so today we are going to take up how the vedic society was so family is the smallest unit of the society so let's discuss about the family of the vedic society so coming to the first the family then we will come to the position of the women next what type of food they used to eat the dresses and the amusement they used to have then will come how the society was fourfold divisions were there in the society then the four ashrams then the education system how the political organization was the economy of the vedic period and the religious life of the people of the vedic period so now let's discuss in detail so coming to the first point the family the rig vedic society was patriarchal and the oldest member of the family was the head and he was known as the grahapati or the master of the house and there was joint family system now children you might be knowing what is joint family joint family means where all the members of the family live together then monogamy was generally practiced while polygamy was prevalent only among the royal and the noble families monogamy the word means that marrying one person only at a time and polygamy means marrying more than one person at the same time the wife was responsible for taking care of the household so this was the structure of the family now let's discuss about the position of the women in vedic period so when we talk about the early vedic period the women had right to education and enjoyed equal opportunities as men they attended the assemblies and the meetings they took part in all the religious rites there was no practice of child marriage widows could marry again and the girls had the opportunity to choose their husband but in the later vedic age there was a decline in the status of women they did not enjoy the right to property the rules of the marriage also changed and the freedom enjoyed by women of choosing their husband was curbed and widow remarriage was no more favored now children coming to the food in the early vedic period they used barley milk and products like curd and ghee vegetables and fruits as their main food in the later vedic period there are evidences which indicate the production and consumption of rice by the people in the early vedic period both men and women wore upper and lower garments made of cotton and wool they wore clothes that were heavy but simple in design and men wore turbans coming to amusement chariot racing horse racing playing dice music and dance were the favorite pastime of the people now let's come to education now when we talk about education education was imparted orally in gurukul that was situated in schedule area the people served to the guru by tending the cattle and working in the fields of gurukul they had to get up early in the morning after taking bath they chanted the vedic mantras education was free but at the completion of their education they used to give their guru voluntary gifts known as guru dakshina coming to the political organization in the rig vedic or early vedic period the political organization comprised of grama that means village vishya and jana 
many gramas formed a visha and sub, several vishas made a jana the leader of a grama was called gramini the leader of a vish was called vishpati and that of a jana was known as jeshta the state was governed by rajan or the king he was also known as samrat or the supreme ruler the duty of the king was to protect the tribe in which he was assisted by a purohit the royal chaplain and senani the chief of the army the king did not possess a standing army but there was a change in the later vedic period political organizations the kingship became hereditary at the same time the role of the people in administration diminished in later vedic period the vidata completely disappeared the sabha and samiti continued but the characters changed the king became more powerful the king performed a number of rituals and sacrifices to consolidate his hold over the throne rajasya sacrifices was supposed to confer supreme power to the king the king also performed the ashwamedh rituals children you might have heard about the ashwamedh yagna in ramayan also it was conducted by lord ram in which a horse was set free and the person who caught that horse challenged the supremacy and the authority of the king he also performed the vajpayee or the chariot race in which the royal chariot was made to win the race against his king's men taxes and tributes were deposited to an officer called sanghetri now coming to the economy of the vedic period the later vedic period was more prosperous than the early vedic period in early vedic period domestication of animals and agriculture was very much important in later vedic period aryans grew rice wheat millet and sugar cane talking about the craft people started using iron on a large scale carpentry leather working chariot making and making of jewelry and pottery flourished although coins were introduced but still barter system was prevalent now children what barter system is it is a system in which money is not used for buying goods but rather than that goods are directly exchanged now children coming to the religious life of the vedic period in early vedic period aryans worshiped forces of nature like prithvi the mother goddess indra the god of rain vayu the god of wind agni the god of fire usha the god of dawn surya the sun god and varun the sky god but as the later vedic period came the these gods lost their importance and people started worshiping brahma vishnu and mahesh that means shiva they emerged as new gods ram and krishna were said to be the incarnation of lord vishnu durga kali lakshmi and parvati emerged as female deities rituals and sacrifices became rigid people believed in karma that means action and moksha that means salvation now children if you talk about the vedic society in the early vedic period the society was divided into four classes or the orders of the society the varnas the brahmans the kshatriyas the vaishyas and the shudras now people who preached spiritual teachings and lived a very spiritual life were known as brahmins now coming to the second one the kshatriyas were the people who protected the society against external um, this one attacks and they maintained internal order the vaishyas were the business class the traders and the farmers and the shudras were the people who engaged in serving the upper classes we talk about 
the four ashrams or the four stages of life in the later vedic period the man's life was divided into four phases the brahmacharya the grahastha the vanprastha and the sanyas now talking about the brahmacharya that was up to 25 years the student time of youth was to acquire knowledge so the students went to gurukul and they gained knowledge residing in the ashram of the guru coming to the second one the grahastha which was said to be from 25 years to 50 years the householder phase of life was when one lived with his family and children and he gave uh, and he fulfilled all his duties and responsibilities in his family coming to the next one the vanprastha which was said to be from 50 years to 75 years the hermitage period of life was for focusing more on spiritual practices of meditation contemplation and prayer the last one the sanyas ashram was said to be from 75 years to 100 years this was the period of renunciation now coming to the impact of the vedic period the aryans had great impact on the indian society they gave to india sanskrit language they gave agrarian base to indian economy the philosophy of the vedas and the ideas set forth by the epics are the foundation of present day hindu religion thank you children and keep smiling